Hey, Coach Ashley here at the Critical Bench Compound. Today is day one of week one of our Get Done six week challenge. Today, we're gonna kick it off with a lower leg lift. Let's go. Before you do anything, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, all right? Because if you're not subscribed, you're not gonna get the notification for day two, week two, week three workouts. Today is week one, day one. What it looks like over the next six weeks is we're gonna do one lower lift, one upper lift, and one hit training. That hit training is gonna be a meta burn. Again, three days a week. If you're training with me personally, I'm looking at four times a week of training you. All I'm asking you for six weeks is three days a week. Join me every single week, and we're gonna get to the six weeks together. Today, we're gonna kick it off with a lower leg lift. All right, lower body, we're gonna go four movements. You can expect to see the same style programming throughout the next six weeks. We're always gonna do four movements movements, your rep ranges are going to go anywhere from 10 to 12. Today's focus for exercises, we're going to kick it off with 12 reps, 12 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. That is it. And then your workout is complete. On today's lower lift, what items do you need? What equipment do you need? Well, one, you can go body weight. If you're just starting your fitness journey, welcome. We're glad to have you. Now, if you've maybe worked out a little bit more, Fantastic, we're gonna add some weight, some resistance to these movements. You will need a bench, and you're gonna need an assortment of dumbbells. All right, ranging from a set of dumbbells to individual dumbbells. Our first movement today, we're gonna go into a goblet squat. Now remember, your first set is gonna be 12 reps. We're gonna go 12 reps of a goblet squat. 12 reps total means we're alternating of a reverse lunge. 12 reps of a glute bridge, and then 12 reps of a dumbbell deadlift. We're gonna go 12 reps for set two, 10 reps for set three, 10 reps for set four. All right, on today's first movement, we're gonna go into a goblet squat. Go ahead, grab one heavy dumbbell. Your feet are directly underneath the hips. Your core is nice and tight, shoulders are back. On the goblet squat, you want your elbows coming down to the knees, pushing the heels into the ground, driving with the glutes, Gain that full activation. Remember, we're going 12 reps. This is three, four, core is tight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, 10, 11, last rep, 12. Get that dumbbell out of the way, grab your set of dumbbells. Our next movement is gonna be a reverse lunge. I'm gonna shift this way so you can see from kind of like a diagonal, because if I'm looking directly at you, a little bit weird, right? All right, 12, 12 total reps. When you see a total rep count, it means we're alternating our legs. Shoulder blades back pocket, core is engaged. Nice and tight, square the hips up at the top. Make sure your shoulders and your scapula is pinched at the top, three. Four, five, six. Find something to focus on if you're having a hard time balancing. Eight, nine. Right here, drive that heel into the ground. 10, 11, 12, done. Our next movement is gonna be a glute bridge. Now you have the option. You can do it from the floor. I'm gonna do it from a bench. If you've never done a glute bridge before, I would encourage you to start from the ground. If you are familiar with this movement, we're gonna go from the bench. You're gonna walk your hips up, use your arms, the strong triceps, lower down to about that middle back. You want your shoulder blades to be able to move. So that means you don't want the bench on top of the shoulder blades or above the shoulder blades. Your heels directly underneath your knees, you tuck that chin. Do not look at the ceiling for a glute bridge. When you do this, you're gonna put a lot of strain on your back. Antagonist, protagonist. If you do not use your core, you will use your back. How do we protect our back? We use our core. We're gonna tuck that chin, we're gonna look directly forward. Remember, you have 12 reps here. We're gonna get a nice deep stretch in the glute hamstrings, and we're gonna drive, squeezing those glutes, squeezing the lower abdominals. That's one. Drop, drive, two. Again, three. Give a nice big squeeze. If you're not squeezing that butt, no one is squeezing that butt. Six, seven, core is tight. Eight, 
If you're feeling it in your back, really make sure you're tucking that pelvis in. Nine, three more, 10. Crack the walnut, squeeze those cheeks. 11, last one, drive, 12. Great job, we have one more movement in this series. Our last movement in this lift, in this series of our lower lift, is gonna be the deadlift. You have tons of dumbbells everywhere. Make sure you have a good, nice, clear space. Again, a deadlift, you wanna go to a moderate heavy weight, but remember, we are performing 12 reps. Whenever you lift a heavy dumbbell, it is incredibly important. This is our first video together. It's important for me to teach you proper form, especially when walking into a lift. Do not lift with your back. Walk in, plant your foot, shoulders back, grab that heavy weight and stand. Feet, again, directly underneath the hips, nice, soft knees. The cool thing about a dumbbell deadlift and not a barbell deadlift is you're not restricted to the dumbbells in front of you. Shoulders back, I always go at a 45 degree angle. Core is tight. Again, engage that core. You're gonna push the butt to the wall behind you, keeping your thumbs, they should be able to touch your leg, drive through the heel, squeeze. Again, suck that belly button to the spine and drive. Keep your chin tucked to maintain a neutral spine. What that doesn't look like is this. How often do you see that in the gym? It looks painful for your neck. Tuck, shoulders back, core is tight, neutral spine. Right here, seven, squeeze those cheeks. Eight, when you feel the stretch in the hamstring, that is your stopping point. Nine, you do not have to go all the way to the ground. 10, two more. 11, last rep, 12, great job. All right, you guys still have three more sets. Set one was 12 reps. Set two is also 12 reps. Set three, we're gonna decrease to 10. In set four, you also have 10. My goal for this six week challenge is I'm gonna perform each first set with you. I'm gonna coach you through these movements. I'm gonna give you a good cue to perform the movements properly. My goal is to explain these movements to give you proper form. It is your job to complete the set. If you're looking for challenge, you're looking for change, you have to have a little bit of accountability. Awesome work, week one, day one, check. It's in the books of our Get Done six week challenge. Make sure you are subscribing because I'm gonna expect to see you on day two here in two days. We have six weeks long, like, subscribe. If you have a question, comment, concern, drop it in the comments. I myself will personally respond to you over these next six weeks to make sure I'm giving you the best coaching possible. I'll catch you for day two.